Hi, I'm Pranav, a developer advocate here at Talis. Now that you've seen how to deploy CypherTrust Manager, let me show you some very small applications uh, that will let you protect your data effortlessly. One of them is client-side encryption. And note that this is a very, very small application, and there are like tons of other applications that you can do with CypherTrust Manager. But a lot of companies today use object storages such as AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Google Cloud Storage Buckets, or Menio for that matter. Uh, however, a lot of them find it really hard to use the built-in uh, key management solutions to encrypt all their objects stored in that object storage uh, on the server side. But Talos uh, lets you do this very effortlessly with client-side encryption. Client-side encryption lets you encrypt your, your files uh, using the CypherTrust Manager API and upload that ciphertext or encrypted data to your favorite object storage. So it's going to be a three-step process. The first part of the process is to get a JSON web token or JWT uh, and to be able to authenticate with the API. Then we upload our files uh, to the API uh, to encrypt them, and then we get ciphertext back. Ciphertext is, in other words, encrypted data. Then we upload that ciphertext to our favorite object storage. And to decrypt it, we just do the reverse. We download the ciphertext from our favorite object storage and then use the CypherTrust Manager API to decrypt it. I have a small demo that shows how this works, and it's a very cool one to play around with. So you can scan this QR code to go on to the GitHub source code for it. And then there's a link in there, which will take you directly to the demo. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to upload a file, um, which is the same Talus QR code that will take you to the demo. Um, and I'm just going to click on encrypt and upload. And in just a few seconds, it has encrypted our, our data using the CypherTrust Manager API and already uploaded it to S3. And just to make sure I'm not lying uh, or no funny business is going on, I've uh, you can see here that the the URL is a S3 URL and the, uh, the, the file has been encrypted and the ciphertext has been uploaded to the object storage. And one thing to note in the ciphertext is that it has something called the IV or the initialization vector, which is very, very important when you're encrypting more sensitive data. And now just to do the reverse process, I'm just going to click on download and decrypt. And as you can see, we got our QR code back. And all this required was just two different API calls, one for the encrypt operation and one is for the decrypt operation. Now the code for all of this is in the public GitHub repository. So make sure to take a look at it and play around with the demo.